Holds are a fundamental maneuver in instrument flying. It looks simple, but it's hard to execute. If you ever learned how to execute a hold, you've probably experienced an overload in tasks that you had to perform all at once. It is challenging to prioritize and manage all of those tasks in such a short time. Flying a hold is all about managing those tasks in a timely manner. I'm Marcelo Chung, and in this video, I will show you how to execute a hold using this holding pattern guide. This holding pattern guide is available on the description below and on weflyimc.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more aviation tips. Let's get to it. The very first line of the holding pattern guide is an area where we can copy our holding clearance. So let's say we receive the clearance to hold west of the Boston VOR at the 270 radial right turns at 2000 feet and expect for the clearance after 30 minutes. The very first thing we want to do after receiving a holding clearance is always to draw out the hold. So that's what this compass rose is for. Let's say we know that we're inbound from the 120 radial heading 300. So that's going to mean that we are here flying this direction. This little image here will help us determine that we're going to execute a parallel entry. So we'll keep that in mind for now. The next thing we want to do is direct our attention to the outbound heading. You'll see that it is color coded blue and that is because all of the inputs are going to be the same color. So our outbound heading in our hold happens to be the radio as well, which is 270. So that's what we're going to write down, 270. You'll see below that our inbound course equals the radio plus or minus 180. In our case, it's going to be a minus. So with that little mental math, we'll write that down. 270 minus 180 is 090. The next part of the guide is the first two turns that we're going to do in our entry. Since we've determined that we're going to execute a parallel entry, we're going to draw a box on the entry, on the turns that we're going to use, and we can disregard all the remaining uh, instructions. Again, they will be used on the bottom, which is why they're color coded. But let's work out the math for now. The very first turn, turn one, the entry heading equals the outbound heading, which is 270. So let's write that down, 270. Then our turn two, the intercept heading, is our inbound course minus 45. So we'll get that from here. So 090 minus 45 equals 45. So let's write that down. With that information, we can now go to our next part of the hold of the guide, which is the the steps that we're going to execute for our entry. The very first step is throttle, which is three minutes or less prior to crossing fix. We're going to reduce our throttle to our holding speed and lean mixture. And then once we cross our fix, which is step two, that's where we begin our entry. We will then initiate our very first turn. Our turn one, we're going to make one of these three turns which we'll get, again, color-coded from our worksheet, we see that we're going to make a left turn. So that's what we're going to circle here, left. The following entry input that we want to do is our entry heading, which we can get from our worksheet above, 270. So let's write that down, 270. Once we finish our turn, we want to start our timer for one minute and note the UTC time. Fifth 
step is to talk, report our position, and note the UTC time. And then while we're doing that, we're going to twist our OBS to our inbound course. Our inbound course is right here, also color-coded pink. So we're going to write that down, 0, 9, or 0. After one minute, we're going to execute our second turn to intercept the inbound course. You can see that we want to make a left turn because that's what it points out in the uh, worksheet above. So that's what we're going to circle, left turn. And the heading that we're going to establish to intercept is 0, 4, 5. Once we are intercepting on the inbound course, we're going to track said course, which again is 0, 9, 0. And that is how you execute your entry. But we're not done yet. We also want to, once we execute our entry, we want to now go ahead and stay in the holding pattern. And that's what the last part is. Once you've executed your entry, you can disregard the, the steps. And all you can focus on is the holding pattern so that you can stay there. Okay, so let's put our inputs there. And we'll get the, the numbers from the colors that we have color coded on the guide. The very first thing we want to do when we cross our fix is we want to turn either left or right. These inputs we're going to get from right here on the top. So we're going to make, in this case, a right turn. And our outbound heading is also our radio. So we're going to... Circle right and write down 270. Next step is we'll wait until we are a beam to start our timer. And after one minute, we're going to turn and intercept our heading. We know that it's going to be a right turn because it is color coded again red. So we'll circle that. And our intercept heading, we can get it from either here or here because they're both the same color. So we'll write that down 045. Once we're intercepting on the inbound course, that's step four, we're going to track. The inbound course, which we know is 0, 9, 0. And start our timer. So we have then completed our worksheet. You will notice that to maintain in the hold, all you need is steps 1 through 5. You will also notice that we have... So a few words that are under, um, sorry, we that are bolded, and they all start with T. And eventually, all you need to know about holding pattern, all you need to remember to execute a holding pattern is the T's, or what we call the six T's. Now, we also know that at every hold, there is wind correction that we have to apply, which is what this is for. This little guide here will tell you what kind of wind correction angle you want to apply outbound and also the time that you'll need to do outbound so that your, one, your inbound leg lasts one minute. And that is how you do a holding pattern using my holding pattern guide. As you get more comfortable with flying holds, you will eventually not need the full page. You may use this reference sheet that fits on your kneeboard instead. Thanks for watching. I'm Marcelo Chung, reminding you to fly safe and stay informed.